The show is essentially a series of vignettes exploring uh, both nightmares and fantasies regarding human sexuality. Uh, we explore various topics, uh, including um, online dating, STD, uh, help, sexual tension and frustration, male and female insecurities. And we all look at this through both the positive and negative effects that they can all have on us as human beings. Hi, my name is James Parker. I am a senior theater major here at West Georgia, and I am part of the acting ensemble for Episodes in Sexuality. My name is Iman Hinton. I am a almost senior here, and I am the props designer. My name is Eric Grays. I am a senior theater major, and I am the scenic and lighting designer for Episodes. I'm Abigail Dawkins. I'm a freshman theater major, and I'm part of the ensemble. My job is to create the mood of the show and the world of the show, essentially. Um, as scenic and lighting designer, I get to do that pretty much overall, besides uh, the prop and costume elements. Uh, it applies to the play because in a device piece, you're not really sure about what that world is going to be until you get into the process. And so um, through rehearsal process and through uh, the creation of the script, I help the actors create this world around them. In the beginning, we wanted to talk about using expressionism. Um, and another, another form of expressionism is cubism. And that's where the inspiration of the boxes came into play. And I think that uh, the use of the boxes also plays to the nature of what a device show is. Um, with a box, what does that make you think of? Boxes, things of pulling things out of boxes, um, of, of these secret items are, can be in a box. You know, you can do lots of things with the box. Um, and I think the cardboard also plays into the, the, the rawness of the show, the rawness of device theater. As the props designer, it's my job to make sure that uh, all of the, the materials that are handled on stage actually enhance the idea behind episodes. This year, it's about nightmares and fantasies. And when you're dreaming, sometimes you're your snake is actually your coffee, or your, your broom is actually a really, really hot lady. So it's my job to try and find that, uh, that small uh, niche between reality, dreams, and nightmares. The most difficult part um, for me stems from the fact that since it is a devised piece, we don't have a script in hand day one, so it's all of us uh, actors, directors, designers, all trying to find out what story we want to tell. Um, so I would have to say that's the most difficult part uh, in remaining honest to the material or the theme on which we want to explore. The most difficult part would probably be being willing to open up completely and, you know, do the movements and connect with the ensemble. But it's, it's a good difficult. The most important thing is trying to remain honest to what we want to explore in episodes and sexuality. Because uh, our director came with us with a concept of, of exploring fantasies and nightmares of human sexuality. So it's been very important for me personally to try to remain truthful and honest about the stories that I want to tell and that we all want to tell. The most important thing I've learned in rehearsal so far would probably be being comfortable with myself. You know, you, your body is your instrument as an actor, so doing all the movement exercises and uh, games with the cast, you know, it really opens you up and makes you realize who you are as an actor, and then that way you can do what you need to do in rehearsal. They should see this show because it's about sex. <laughs> it's about human sexuality and all of its infinite forms and, and it's so intriguing. That's why we, we do it year after year and it, it is a fresh perspective on what it means to be human and what it means to have human sexuality.